Cased Dimensions has worked closely with Microsoft to enable service level management within Service Manager. In this short demonstration, we shall show you the features we have enabled, such as calendaring to control service hours, the ability to configure operational and service level rules with time to respond and time to fix, where escalation is automatic should the service levels not be achieved, the ability to use Service Manager existing data properties whilst defining your service levels, such as business services or groups, or even the incident change or problem uh, ticket properties. We also utilize Active Directory. We shall show you how we present the service level information in an easy to use manner within the service desk work queue and also within the service ticket. Lastly, but most importantly, we shall show you how you can offer your directors or senior managers better SLAs than other employees. Service level information is presented within the work queue in an intuitive manner. Red, amber and green lights make it easy for analysts to identify which tickets they should be working on. Service level time to respond and service level time to fix information is also presented within the work queue. Each ticket is time and date stamped in relation to when the ticket should be responded to and when the ticket should be closed and fixed. To view additional service level information, it is merely a manner of right clicking the top level tab and choosing the information you wish to present. We are now viewing operational level targets as well as service level agreement targets. The work queue is currently organized in relation to whom the tickets are assigned to. To view this information from a service level time to fix perspective, we merely click the tab to the top of the work queue. The tickets are now ordered in sequence with the tickets within service level to the bottom of the queue and the ones requiring attention quickest to the top of the work queue. Let's look at a service ticket. Within this ticket, it is easy to see that operational level agreement and service level agreement information is presented, both from a time to respond and time to fix perspective. The service level has expired, therefore the colour is red. As we can see, the ticket should have been responded and fixed on the 28th. On this system, it is actually the 3rd of the 2nd. However, we can see from an operational level perspective, the time to respond is within target as well as the time to fix. The reason for this can be shown in the history of the ticket. This ticket has been passed to a new engineer, Andy Q, on the 3rd of February at 25 past 8. Therefore, Andy is within his operational target for responding and his operational target for fixing this issue. However, the overall service level has been broken. The grey ticks in the boxes to the right of each service level also indicates that a manager will be automatically escalated to by email should the service level be exceeded. An important feature many of our clients requested was the ability to give a director or a group of people a special service level. So Alicia is a director. We have extended this tab with a, a small extension to go into the tab and indicate a service level bonus will reduce Alicia's service levels by the percentage of the bonus. For example, if time to respond was 10 minutes and time to fix was 20 minutes, Alicia's 
time to respond would now be five minutes and for time to fix it would be 10 minutes. If we apply this and OK it, Alicia will now receive better service than other employees within the organisation. A feature of service level management is to use information from operations manager to drive how you configure service levels. Within operations manager, if you configure a distributed application representing a service, those components are automatically synchronized into service manager. So for example, this expense system resides on these Microsoft SQL databases and these Microsoft Windows servers. This information has been automatically populated to the CMDB within Service Manager. This information can now be utilized to define service levels against the expense service. When defining service levels, case dimensions can also utilize the group function within Service Manager. The group function allows the administrator to create a logical view of groups of assets. The groups may relate to technical functions such as the network tier, the server or infrastructure tier, the database tier, or they may represent business services such as email or expenses. It is merely a matter of searching the CMDB and adding the assets into a group and then saving them. Once done, this information can be used when defining service levels. So you may define a service level against the database group or against the network group. Calendars by case dimensions allow you to define the days and times against which service levels apply. In this example, we will create a UK extended business hours calendar to cover service between Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. We shall choose the start date as today. And if we do not choose an end date, the service will run continuously. We shall choose the days, Monday until Friday. And we had said 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. Uh, as, as it is UK, we shall choose London. We click Next. Uh, we have the ability to add holidays. So to choose a holiday, it's merely a matter of driving the wizard and choosing the holiday day as chosen. We click Next. And we have now created successfully a service calendar. This can be repeated many times and the calendars created can be viewed within the All Calendars tab in Service Manager. Case Dimensions also supports the automatic escalation to named individuals should a service level be breached. In this wizard, we name the escalation team and give a short description. So th these are people who will receive automated notification should a service level be exceeded. We choose the people who will receive the notification. So we may say that it is the administrators who will receive notification. We click Next. It's as easy as that. The people in that Active Directory group for administrators will now automatically receive an email should the database service levels be broken. Service levels can be configured for incident, change and problem work items. In this example, we will configure an incident service level. It is for the database uh, incidents. We shall identify the people who will receive an automated email should any service level be exceeded or broken. So let's choose the database escalation team that we set up in the previous step. Now we, we will identify the assets against which this service level will apply. 
So previously we set up a group which was called the database asset group. We shall choose it. So this, this service level will now apply against the assets within the database group. It is possible to write as many service level rules as you wish against your group of assets or against your business service. In this example, I have already set up a low priority rule and a medium priority rule. I will now write a high priority rule. You choose the criteria which includes any property that exists within the incident form. So in this example, we will say the priority is less than or equal to three, i.e. the priority within the incident ticket. Uh, we could also choose uh, any other data variable or property within the incident form, such as support group, uh, impact, uh, etc. There are many properties that exist. For the rule, we shall choose a calendar which was set up previously. We shall choose the 24 by 7 by 365 calendar because this is a high priority uh, incident. We shall say the operational level agreement time to respond is 10 minutes. The service level is 15. The operational time to fix is 45. And we shall say the service level is 90. By checking these boxes, this will automatically notify the escalation team should the operational level agreement not be achieved for time to respond or should the service level time to fix not be achieved. We have now added a high priority uh, service level rule to this uh, service level. It's as easy as that. If you have liked what you have seen in this demo, please make contact with Case Dimensions so we can help you. Uh, we can run proof of concepts on site with clients. This is a chargeable service. Uh, if you would like a demonstration, we can do live meetings and show you the technology in life. Uh, we also have an online lab where you can log into over the internet and play with the interface yourself. So please contact us on the email uh, shown or go to, to our website for further information. Thanks, bye.